Well, you carried over what you did in the first game into that second game with that first at bat. Uh, yeah, I just got a chance to hit today. Um, but really, Austin Sexton went out there and threw a gym on the mound. He went out there and pounded his own defense, played a great game. So, I mean, they, they really set the table for us. Whether it was you or, or Austin or Gavin in the first game, you know, how cool was it to have kind of the freshman lead the way today and, and, and lead you guys to two victories? It's definitely fun to be able to go out there and I know at least have a role or something, you know, on the team. Just knowing, kind of knowing what your role is. Sometimes I know that I'm not going to be out there every day, and um, if my if my number gets called, I just got to try to be focused and try to go in there. And um, if anybody went up there to get that pinch hit, no matter who it was on our team, they were going to get the job done. What's going through your mind when you step to the plate in that situation? Uh, just middle of the field, um, try not to get too big, and just I mean single. Is really the first thing in my mind. I'm not trying to do anything more than that. Did you think it was through when you first made contact? It was a close play. Um, I was hoping it was through. <laughs> um, the guy made a heck of a play, and it just worked out for the best, I guess. Your What'd home you run, what that? were you looking for? Uh, really the same thing, just trying to stay in the middle of the field and just, I guess, ran into one. So. What did you see on that pitch? What, what pitch did you get on that one? Uh, that was actually a fastball. So. Did you know it was gone as soon as contact? I did not. Um, I just, like I said, just trying to look middle of the field and just ended up finding the barrel, I guess. Have you ever had back-to-back -back swings like that in your, I mean, your career? All, not not very long yeah. career, but I mean. Um, honestly, I, I don't even know. Um, I just know that um, it was fun going out there with those guys today and just kind of battling and, and you know, just kind of playing Mississippi State baseball, you know, not going out there just we we threw the first punch, I guess, and just playing as brothers and just as a team. What you know, you know, the offense is since the previous weekend, you had two good midweek games. It seemed to have picked up, whether it's timely hitting or piling them up. Um, yeah, like I said, those guys make it a lot easier in there. Um, they all go out there, and every single one of those guys in the dugout, no matter who Coach Cohen calls on, is going to get the job done. So that just kind of makes it easier on it. everybody, the pitchers, the Defense, everybody knows that everybody's going to pick each other up. What did it feel like getting mobbed by your team after game one? Oh, it felt great. Um, <laughs> I never never expected myself to kind of get in that situation, but it was definitely awesome. Which felt better, the home run or the walk-off? <laughs> they were both fun. <laughs> <laughs> now, Kyle was talking to us, I guess, yesterday you were signing some autographs, and you were like, man, if I could just get in the game, I could show them. You know, I could get my own thing. How does it feel to finally get your opportunity? Uh, I'm just happy to be able to do something for the team. and. Like I said, I just have to know my role and just know, try not to do too much. When obviously you have the home run, you have the, the, the walk off, two double plays, the game is humbling. How do you, you know, you keep going forward? The game is very humbling. Um, you know, just got to keep, just keep fighting. Those guys um, do a great job of going out there and picking me up. I mean, I hit into two double plays and nobody wants to do that. <laughs> I know I'm not the best runner on the team, but we've got guys that always come behind and pick each other up. So. How have you kind of adapted to that role, though? I mean, Coach Cohen's always said, I don't want these guys, when I write their name in the line, to think this is a tryout. I want them to go out and just be calm, cool, and, and act like it's just another day. Uh, the coaches have definitely done a good job of just kind of giving tips here and there and just kind of, I mean, even the seniors on the team, like Wes and Alex and Pirtle and those guys that have been leaders throughout the past years just come up and just giving you kind of tips on what you need to be looking for, what you need to be doing, just kind of things that will help you out. Uh, I really appreciate those guys. Thanks for your Thanks, appreciate it. Appreciate it.